Okay, guys, welcome to um, uh, the first tutorial in the Scratch Me Dodge the Meteor game. Uh, up to this point, you should have created the uh, <clears throat> getting started, where you, in my tutorial, you ran the bases with the scratch, but you were able to be creative with that. And then the second assignment was to uh, shoot the butterflies, create a game where you have a rocket ship that shoots the butterflies. And this time, um, we're going to create a Dodge the Meteor game. So if you haven't done those others, go make sure you do those first, and then come to this one. I'll, I'll break this up into steps, just like the other, um, so you can follow along that way. Okay, we don't need Scratchy, so we're going to delete him. And just like before, we're going to add um, the rocket ship in here, because the rocket ship is going to be what's flying in space and trying to dodge the meteor. I suppose if you guys wanted to pick something else, you could. But here is the rocket ship. I'm going to change his size to uh, 40, just because I found that that's smaller. And one thing that I did is I went through and delete, erased um, these little things here. Okay. Um, just because I felt like if the if the meteors touched those, it wouldn't really blow up the rocket ship. So that's what I'm doing here. And I just hit the erase button. I have to do it on all the costumes um, if I want the if I want the rocket ship to actually fly, look like it's flying. Then I've got to do that. Um, the other thing that you could do is create your own costumes. So you could start with this original one here and then maybe uh, get rid of the flames. And you could add, um, in one of my games I'll show you a little bit later, you can add little blue rings that makes it look like it's a Jetsons type thing instead of a flames. So it's futuristic. Anyway back to the code so quickly on this code the first thing I want to do is this this one's gonna be different from the last one instead of the arrow keys driving the rocket ship I want to be able I want the rocket ship to fly towards my cursor so I'll just move my mouse around when I want the rocket ship to move okay so I'm going to create an event that when the flag is clipped, uh, is um, checked, then I am going to point towards the mouse pointer, and that was the only option there. And then I want it to um, do that, and I want it to move forward. Uh, we'll say 10 steps for just a moment. Now, do I want, do I want that to do it just once? Or do I want it to do it forever, the entire game long? The entire game, right? So let's try it. And you can see that the, it is following my mouse pointer. Okay, but he's flying sideways. So how do I overcome that? There's a couple different ways. The way that I found was the easiest for me was to take, and I actually like this because it makes it so that it, um, it looks like it's flying, like turning normal. You can see the little crosshairs right there when I press and hold it. I like that to be right in the center, level with this each time. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one and do the same thing. Rotate him and then move him so that the crosshairs are right on that spot right there. Now I am gonna actually just use I'll just use three of them so you select here we'll rotate oops what do we do there it left that behind so I'm gonna grab the whole thing I can group them by the way if I want to so that they're all one so that if I move it in the future it won't make that mistake and set the crosshair so they're right there okay all right, I am going to delete these two, and then we'll go back to the um, to the code. 
and let's try it and now it looks like he's following my cursor now he might be going a little fast if I want him to slow down I just tell him to go less steps per so I could say five you can see he goes slower I can speed him up and that last thing I'll do on this step is create you guys already know how to um, put a, a backdrop I can upload a backdrop. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I can um, choose a backdrop. And he's in space, so we're going to find a galaxy. And now we can now fly a, a robot or a rocket ship around just by having it chase my pointer. Oh, one other thing that we didn't do, and this will be looks. We want him to look like he's flying. So we're going to say next costume inside that loop so now you, you can see it looks like he's twisting okay that is step one you can do it